Jake, is there another way besides crying? Because we haven't actually heard, I still don't know about the passport. <laughs> like, perfection <laughs> or imperfection, whichever. It's Jones. Yeah, Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Is experiencing either the need to be perfect or the imperfection. I'm still not clear on that. The issue is more does, to do with how it felt being a yeah. child. Yeah, but like but having to people, having to feel like she's got to be perfect all the time, mm -hmm. and there will certainly be a lot of tears that she'll express about that issue. But is there another way besides crying? <laughs> Do you want there what to be another way? <laughs> Do you want there to be another way? Absolutely. Because I, don't want to work. I have to agree with the lady. It yeah. depends which work you're doing yeah. as, as well. It, it depends. <laughs> so if you're doing a certain job, then really you couldn't be crying all the time. Can you see what you're trying to do, though? Um, I knew you'd switch it back to that. <laughs> <laughs> so why did you ask the question? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to carry on and ask you. Yeah. You said, would you like it to happen any other way? I mean, can't you do the breathing that no one can notice? You can try to do all those things if you want. I'm but not saying it won't work. No. It's got to be. <laughs> yeah. It's got to be crying. Well, well, let's look at the different emotions. When you when you feel like joy, what do you what do you do? Okay, you laugh, eh? Hey? Oh, you just don't breathe. Like, for what? Don't you? If you really feel mirthful, what do you do? You laugh your head off, don't you? You laugh till you cry, all that stuff. I'm saying, what do you do? Oh, see, see? What's this inappropriate thing? I'm a parent of tennis and I'm into it. That's what I've done for eight years. And there are lots of times it's inappropriate to laugh. And it's actually in, it's very appropriate to cry sometimes, but not about your emotions. Because you're with the person. You're not with yourself. Does God think this? Does God think your emotions are ever inappropriate? Never. I'm, I'm not at one with God, so I don't know. Well, what do you think? Yeah. Do you think God would ever feel that your emotions are inappropriate? No. Ever? Well, to show, you know, to uh, experience them. You know, you said you could feel them. Mm -hmm. Then you've got to experience them. Well, experiencing them is feeling them. But God... there, no, you said feeling. You could feel them. So you don't have to actually experience them. No, I said I'm basically you can sense the emotion from somebody. Yeah. But experiencing it is like you're actually experiencing it is really feeling it for yourself, right? So, yeah. so you're saying you're feeling your emotions under certain circumstances is inappropriate. Is I'm that what you're saying? Experiencing them, yes, because yeah. your needs are secondary. No, I don't want to know the reason why you believe it, because it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying just I'm go sorry. around crying whenever you have to. Sorry. Just yeah, go that's what I'm saying. Whenever, wherever. Doesn't yeah. Matter. Who, who else would be affected by your Yeah. Try it, try it, try it. 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 Try well, I've been crying the whole time next week. That's okay. No, it's not okay. No, it's not okay. I, I'm not telling you. But can you see the feeling you have? What's the feeling you have? It's not okay. You have this feeling, it's not okay. Why isn't it okay? It's a fear you have. And all you're doing at the moment is voicing your fear. What's the fear? No, I, I don't really want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Are you backing out now on me? <laughs> Ah, now we're getting to the real issue. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Because I'm with families and dying people. And we're not talking any age group here. We're talking about people yep. that are dying. Yes. With their little ones coming to see them. Yes. Now, I can cry with them. Anybody in you know, this sort of work. You can cry with them yeah. and feel their pain. Yeah. But you can't be crying for you. 
Because that has to wait. It's like a mother and her children. She'll put her husband and her children first, and she'll sort her stuff. And this is where it all begins. Yes. This is where it all begins, and it's all, it's all going to cause grief. Honestly, we need to experience our emotions 100% of the time. That's how God made you. The only you have a fear here. The fear is you are going to get judged if you feel your emotions. You are going to have pain from others if you feel your emotions. You feel it's inappropriate. These are all childhood beliefs that entered you that you are going to need to feel before you are going to be able to feel your emotion. Well, I look to others. If we're talking that way, look to others' needs first. And that is actually incorrect. Do you think God wants you to look at others' needs first? But we're not realised. We're not at one with God. So I know. Yeah, see, that's, that's what I call that excuse. See, see, we often use excuses in order to not feel. We use excuses to not feel. So it also might be one of those times where you go through something and then you realise, gee, I'm not in the right job for me to be able to be my true self. Yeah, and if you're not in the right job, then pray for a different job and, you'll, and if it's a heart longing, you'll, you'll go there. Mm -hmm. But you might be in the right job for your soul to go through that emotion. Mm -hmm. see, see, a lot of times what we do is we avoid situations... And we pray to avoid situations when in reality our souls created that situation exactly for the emotion that we need to treat. Right? I was talking a few days ago with a lady who rang me from Western Australia. She, she has had, her husband left her 10 years ago and he still rings her up and abuses her. <laughs> and she takes it. And she gets off the phone, she yells and screams at him back. Right? And then gets off the phone really angry and upset. What's happening? She's still attracting it. She's attracting it. She's attracting it and she doesn't want to deal with the underlying emotion. That's why she yells and screams back. Right? And the truth, the truth is that the excuse that you're using is, I'm in a public setting, I can't feel my emotion. I've got to do it appropriately. That is an excuse, that is an emotion within you. God doesn't feel that way. And then you use another excuse saying, but I'm not God at one with God yet, so I'm allowed to get away with that. Well, you can get away with it for as long as you want. You've got free will. I agree. But do you want to? Don't you want to be at one with God? Mm. Or do you want to be, uh, like, separate from God all well, the time? Well, my original question was, is there any other way besides God? <laughs> <laughs> and I answered no, it. I, I, I just said, I just so said no. <laughs> All of those things detune you from your emotion. They do. There is not to be crying. I'm worried about my. If you're sad. <laughs> Sadness or grief, yes. If it's sadness or grief, cry. If you're happy, laugh. I know, see what you're wanting to do? Select it. Remember what I said, humility was right at the start. What did I say? Feeling every emotion, whether it's painful or pleasurable. That's what I said humility was. Now, you can choose to not be humble if you want and only experience the pleasurable ones and no painful ones. But what's going to happen is more and more pain in your life. No, I meant at work. <coughs> I don't <coughs> care where you're meant. Yeah. <laughs> at work, I'm talking specifically. I know that's at what you're work. talking about. I heard it many times. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I did. I can't laugh when someone has died. If you feel like laughing, you're allowed to laugh. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but that's just. But that feeling comes to you. Like the laugh, the laugh is knowing, you know, that this is all, you know, a dream. Like the Buddha laugh. 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 You know, that's unloving. No. What's, what's unloving is for you to suppress any of your own emotion. That's unloving. Towards you. Now, be, be, 
one thing all of you need to realize about love is love does not treat another person like you like differently to yourself so so I won't let you cry while I'm not allowing myself to cry I won't shut down you or I won't allow like I will always do things within myself that allows both of us to experience our emotions. Right? That's what love does. As soon as I shut down myself, I am no longer being loving to myself. And from God's perspective, you are just as important as the person next to you. So if you feel like laughing and the person next to you feels like crying, you're both allowed to do that. Right at the same moment, if you want. And if it's loving, it's true, then both will feel okay. Exactly. You won't be projecting blame or anger or upset with each other. You won't be judging each other because you'll both be owning your own emotion. Okay?